All right, next job. Next job of the day, y'all. I got. A, I bought this boat, and it needs new brakes, and their drum brakes. So it needs new drums and new backing, all new internals, and I got to replace the hubs on the other two uh, tires. So two tires need new brakes. Two tires need new hubs, and this actuator needs to be replaced. I don't have a driveway, so I came to the parking ride. I don't have a driveway big enough for this thing anyway. I got my generator out here and I'm hoping I can get it, get this job done before daylight by myself. We'll see how it goes. All right. Couldn't get anybody to help me, but you know, that's how this thing goes. Bet everybody gonna ride though. <laughs> first thing I gotta, first thing I gotta do is get this truck unpacked. My extension cord, bunch of tools, bottle jack, uh, and back here, I got my jack stands. The rest of that crap though, that's all recovery gear. It's full size, 33 inch square tire. I gotta pack all these hubs with grease first. And while I'm working, I might as well charge the boat up. So that's what I got my generator out here for. And then in case I need the power tools or whatever. First things first, get this thing jacked up. I'm gonna just do one side at a time. Got my jack stands under it never work with just a jack all right i'm ready to start packing the bearings but i got out here and i didn't bring any brake cleaner <laughs> so you know i got all my stuff disassembled this is why you need to have somebody helping you with a car because now i got everything plugged up the boat is charging i got my batteries charging that's a new generator, so I'm breaking it in. Got all this stuff out. If I was to leave here, I should have parked at Walmart. That's the other thing, guys. Next time, if you want to do something like this, park at a Walmart parking lot. Uh, now, I, I have some lacquer cleaner, some whatever you use to remove paint. Let me go you get some of that, and I can use that. You always got to bring more tools than you think you'll need. Because this is such a messy job, I ain't, I'm not gonna be able to come back and tell y'all what I did here. But you suppose to, I read how to pack bearings. Up. Well, I saw the videos. You put a chunk of grease in your palm and then you work it into the bearing. So that's what I'm getting ready to do with all these bearings and then just set them into these before I start. All right, I finished. Uh, I put the one bearing in here and the seal. I got that bearing packed. I put the seal, I put one bearing in there and the seal, but I forgot to pack this one. So I need to pack this one. Put these gloves back on. This is a messy, messy job. Ooh. But uh, making good time, I, I guess. I've spent an hour now and I've packed three bearings, set two seals, jacked the trailer up and unpacked the truck. So now let me keep working. I'm stuck like Chuck trying to take these rusted brake drums off. I have my big hammer, I try my pry bar, nothing's working. I try going around back and taking the backing bolts out, but they just spin because you got to hold them from inside. So now it's time to check YouTube, see if any of y'all have already figured this thing out, see if there's some ticks, twit, tips and tricks that I can use. Cause I hate that I done banged on this thing so much that it rotates ugly now. So if I try to take it back home, maybe that thing would fall off. I don't know. Dang it. Oh, well, it's running up. Yeah. I don't want to give up, but I didn't bring the heat with me today. Okay, Senor YouTube, I'm giving up on this one. What I should have done, I looked at it while I was at the house. I just didn't pack it because I said I wasn't going to, uh, these fenders, the rust on them are pretty bad. I don't know if you can see that. That is completely, uh -oh. yeah, it's completely rusted. I was going to saw that. I was going to use my uh, wheel cutter to cut that off or a sawzall. But now, I'm sure I'm going to get my my wheel cutter that grinding wheel or whatever it is a portable cut off wheel and i'm gonna just cut right through that 
cut right through that so I can access them holes in there. I can disconnect the hub, the bolts that mount this thing to the frame. I'm going to cut this thing off. That's not, I'm not using it again. That's some thick metal that I'm going to have to go through, but it ain't coming off any other kind of way I can see. I'm going to have to cut it off. I'm going to move on to the next wheel, inshallah. Let me put this one back together and start on the next wheel. I've spent an hour and 15 minutes on this. I give up. And I did try using the screwdriver through the back of it, through the back of it to hit that adjustment wheel, but the adjustment wheel is, is rusted and it won't spin. I broke off a tooth. And after that, I said, I give. You can see all the rust has come off of me just banging on it. This thing has been dipped in the sun or in the salt and left. This one has been a lot nicer to me. I just pulled this cap off. So now I gotta take the pin out. Pin is right here, a piece of it. I gotta find the other one, slip it out, and then spin that nut off. Should only be 50 foot pounds on it. Then that whole thing should slide off. Then I gotta clean it. Uh, did I bring a bunch of rags? Jeez, whatever. I gotta clean it off and then just put the other one back on. So inshallah, this one will be a piece of cake. Inshallah. We'll see. Got that off. All right, I got that one on. And I, I, I didn't take the time on this when I have to look at my video start times. But I got the grease bear. I got the bearings packed for the next one since my hands were already dirty. Uh, so I got that hacksaw so that I can cut open these tubes of grease because you got to take clumps. I've used three quarters of that one tube to do three. So. So each bearing or each wheel takes a one quarter uh, thing of grease. It's my spare tire now. I got four new tires on here. Got that new hub in the back. Got the new hub back here. These brakes, I got to come back another day and chop them off. Maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. This is I'm waiting on parts. The billows here are rotten and need to come out so i gotta see can i do this 